wonder why that is. To do some digging. Well, in the meantime, I fixed that. Everything loaded. Very well. Well, that's an interesting. Set of uh, weirdness. Going. <laughs> what? <laughs> See that sword? That is bizarre. Huh. Well, well, the reason Going. we're back here is to get a room for the night so we can get our health back, particularly on our dwarven fighter. Huh, that's neat. Um, for the sake of it, sure, we'll spend the 200 copper. And Very well. off we go. Back out to the Deerford Crossing. Dyerford. Durford. Ah, uh, we'll find out. Um, I think there's a cave over there. Ah. Going. Very well. Dragon's Lair bonus. Very well. Pretty solid bonus, that. Now then, welcome to the stream, everybody. Uh, back to Deerford Crossing we go. We've rested in the Dragon's Crown, whatchamacallit, room, so we all have, like, massive... I think it's con, ints, and might bonuses. I mean, I say massive, I think it's plus two. To, yes, con, int, and might. Um, and I wonder if actually, an interesting question is going to be, do you get, or is there, I should say, do monsters respawn? That's the question I'm trying to ask. Oh yeah, and there's supposed to be some sort of key associated with this, I think, that I have not found. Well, we'll see if we can find it. Very well. Very well. And double time. Going. Oh god. There's another one of them. Oh boy, that is... Does not look good. Alright. Oh, he's taking a lot of stamina damage. Quite a lot of stamina damage, actually. That poison is messing him up pretty bad. Why are you not using what you should be using, which is your bow? Okay. Fighter son, that poison is brutal. So that was an awful lot of poison damage. I really gotta be a little more careful with those things. Hmm? Stamina recovers pretty fast, but. Spider Venom Sack. Oh, we got a body. A ring of deflection. Well, now. There it is. Ring of deflection. Deflector 2. Plus 4 to deflection bonus. Mr. Fighter Son. Definitely giving that to you so that you can better let's see that's ten and five. Wait, who's got exceptional medium? Fifteen yeah. Oh enchant close. I'm actually going to swap to the dwarf and replace this. Give this to the cleric in case I ever use that. But I'm trying to get my dwarf's deflection now. Is it the 89? That's pretty pretty damn good. I thought I think it's good anyway. Recovery speed's a bit slow, but I really just want him to sit here and tank all of the damage forever. Tank, tank, tank the damage. Um, and let's anything else. 
Doesn't look like it, so we're going to save. Which is still really slow. Saving, even on, I got a, a solid state drive too. I wonder how bad it's got to be on a um, normal hard drive. Just seems like it takes quite a long time to save. Into the cave we go. Search the cave at Deerford Crossing. Ah, we've we've in, we've gotten leveled up. Oh, because we got experience for reaching the cave. Oh, good. So they fixed that. That's actually working now. Very good. So I think we will go ahead and drop points into that and try to get our lore up. Now we're gonna get our acrobatics to six or athletics. I mean. Uh, one stands alone. Grants melee damage bonus when barbarians engaged by two or more enemies. Barbarian cannot be flanked unless engaged by more than three. Oh, that's nice. Seems pretty legit. Engagement limit O's up. Not that worried about it. Bonus frenzy. Speed of wild sprint increased. Huh. Probably that's pretty good, or, um, what was the soldier? Great sword, pike, warhammer, increased accuracy. I think probably stalwart defiance seems pretty good. Alright, so, and then we're going to go ahead to Mr. Fighter here. He's got high athletics, low mechanics, survival. He's got some stealth. Give him um, some stealth. Who cares? Um, unbending. Three per rest. Draw strength from his own indomitable spirit. Cause him to recover 50% of stamina loss from an attack over five seconds. Very nice. Confident aim. 20% of their grazes are converted to hits, increasing the minimum damage from melee weapons. Ooh. That's quite good. And then, yeah, I'm thinking engagement. Knockdown, bonus to all defenses in defender mode. Increases the rate of constant recovery. Also quite good, but I think we're going to go with hold the line for now. So he can tank even harder. Mr. Cleric. Or Miss Cleric, or I think that's a Mr. Cleric. Um... Let's see. Let's go ahead, shink up lore, just in case it helps anybody out. Um, no new class unlocks. Engagement limit now. Nah, not worried about it. untroubled faith. Negating reputations that negatively influence holy radius. Oh. Increase accuracy of interdiction. I think. That's what, a um, Arquebus, I think, he's using. We'll go with that. I'm pretty sure that's an Arquebus. I really hope that's an Arquebus. Gonna find out if I fucked up. Yes, very good. And then the Rogue. Let's go ahead and just chink mechanics all the way up. Keep that going. Want to have our mechanics pretty high. Class unlocks blinding strike once per encounter. Ah, nice. Extra damage blinds a target. Pretty good. See, so increases percentage of rogues hits that are converted to crits when using dirty fighting. Increases damage of finishing blow. Reduces deflection penalty when using reckless assault. Don't really. I think I just want. Warbow. Crossbow, war bow, hunting bow, blunderbuss, quarterstaff, hatchet, spear, saber, stiletto, club, pistol, rod. Hmm. I don't know. Um. Well. Honestly, using reckless assault. Let's go ahead. That's a. That's one he's using all the time. I don't think it matters too much. Still trying to figure out what's good. For the wizard... Lore is at 8. Wow. Let's go ahead and pimp out his stealth a little bit. 
Really high lore. That's quite good. Spells. Ah, it's a third level spell. Arduous delay of motion. Lower speed and movement. Okay. Leeching a portion of its stamina. Okay. Reduces damage threshold, deflection, concentration of enemies. That's quite good. Uh, terrified and sickened all nearby enemies. Let's go with exposed vulnerabilities. That seems pretty legit. And then you get a talent, uh, which in this case hardens arcane veil. Constant power blast and getting some of the target's damage threshold. Yes, please. Okay. Now then, with all that done, we go into this mode and begin looking around. Go ahead and grab some cave coral. That's pretty cool. Caves look good, man. Okay, a lot of spiders. A lot of spiders. A lot of spiders. Spiders are pretty fucking scary. Not a big fan of spiders. So we're going to save, and we are going to move forward slightly and send you in first. And let's bring you up. We're going to have you activate Vigorous Defense and start the attack. You guys all start the attack. You can come here to begin your stuff. And actually, we're going to go ahead, third level wizard spells, what is this, Arcane Veil, 2 per rest, plus 25% deflection, or plus 25 deflection, very good. What if we, hmm, reduces movement, corrosive damage, and can bring that essence of the stamina for the caster, lance, flame, I think... Honestly, jolting touch, and we lose. Oh, wow! I was not expecting that. But we've got yes. two down. Uh, testing is petrified. Four hundred percent health loss. Wow, that is bad. Go ahead and drop some healing. Uh, and have everybody attack this guy. Everybody attack this guy. Please. Oh man. Well. Good. Ah! My main character died. Single petrification attack and the crystal eater just instantly kills my my guy. Well, huh? Huh? That's a problem. Ah, not actually dead. Maimed. Minus five accuracy. Will reflex for to deflection. Let's see if we can try that fight again. Maybe we'll have better luck. If we do. Yeah, definitely not going Iron Man on this game <laughs> until I've played it like two or three times. So, okay, we're going to bring you up. We're going to, let's get into fights, activate this. Um, what do we have? What do you do? Oh my god, it doesn't tell me what it does. Interdiction. <clears throat> ah. Yes? 
Counter, yeah. God, that is brutal. Damn. Going. They need to Going. fix the auto attack yes. bug. It's frustrating that they don't just attack when um down like that. I also like how she's got a little sword beneath her mm -hmm. feet. Um, that fight was actually pretty scary. Um, she got messed up kind of hardcore from that. We have more spiders over here. Very well, going very Just take well. Just a quick gander around, make sure there's nothing like hiding on the walls or something like that. Doesn't look like there is. There's a lot of stuff over here, though. All right, Dwarf Reno, go start the tanking up. Activate your shits. And um, what we're gonna have you do, Divine Terror on that. And finish them off. Those crystal spiders are nasty. The rest of them, nasty, but not that nasty. Very well. Let's get over here. Going. Whoa. Right through the main lines. Okay. Rogue's got dirty going. fighting going. We potentially could upgrade that. Very well. What is down here? A lot of bones. Cave coral. Oh, hello. That is an ogre. As you advance into the darkness, the ground begins to tremble. You hear plodding footfalls, growling breaths, and bone-snapping crunches. An ogre steps out of the shadows, ten feet tall and bulging with muscle. That guy is pretty scary. He tears a mouthful from a hoofed, pink-fleshed limb and tosses it aside. Too well equipped to be villager, a bandit from the road, then. Must be. That is surprisingly intelligent. The ogre snorts and tightens his grip around the club. I have kept it to myself, killed no one but the fools reckless enough to chase me down here. Why have you come looking for me? Well, a couple things. I'm looking for a young elven noblewoman. She's gone missing. I've done my best to avoid kith, especially the kind that might give rise to search parties. She never came here, of that I am sure. Well, then I'm look elsewhere, but I want to ask you something else. So a farmer from Deerford claims you ate his pigs. That I should have eaten the blazing farmer! I underestimated the love these villagers have for their swine. Calm down. Perhaps you could tell me something else. What? If you've been minding your own business, how did all these bones get here? Mm, spiders got... Uh, spiders got most of them. The rest blundered in here looking for trouble. Alright, what are you doing in this cave? Hiding from your kind. Wow, you need to have really high... Uh, really high... <clears throat> Kith driven from their homes by strange storms. Bandits out for blood and coin. My kind is unsafe around Kith at the best of times, but now? Tempers run hot and ogre blood is valued among your alchemists. Oh, interesting. 
You've already eaten an entire herd of pigs. At that rate, you won't be able to hide out in here for long. I say, using my survival. I know that! My chances are still better here, godlike. Not that this matters to you. Now that you found me here, I can't let you leave. Hmm. So I could lie. Here there's another town further along the river with lots of pigs and juicy villagers. Leave this village in peace. I won't tell you again. You don't need to stay in this miserable cave. I'm sure a big, strong ogre like you would have no problem out in the wood. Interesting. This place isn't safe. Even if you kill me, it's only a matter of time before someone else finds you. Well, I am a barbarian. So we're going to be... Leave it in peace. I won't tell you again. Up. Oh. And, well... Here we go. Let's turn off double time. Begin the attack, but I'm pretty sure we're going to need to drop some spells in this battle. This will... Attacks fortitude at plus 10. Minus deflection, fortitude, and will. Do that, buddy. Let's get some missiles. Rogue. Let's just use blinding strike on this guy. Oh, I'm sorry. Blinding strike on this guy. And you need to turn on Frenzy. Dwarferino, attack. Oh. Wow, got knocked the fuck down. Deal some area damage, I see. Did your barbs work? I can't tell. Repulsing seal. Farragans Infirmary, Restore Light Stamina. Consecrated Gown, Divine Mark. Yes. This guy is uh, getting pretty messed up. Super high fort. Low will. Our will is okay. We don't know about reflex, really. Attacks deflection. Let's try to shock him. Oh. So let's see. The wizard hits for crushing, slashing. Grazes for crushing. that. Yes. Knock down. There's a jolt. Oh, that deals. Huh. Oh. Got him. Wow. Got 3,000 experience for completing that. And the head. And some ogre blood. So yeah, that definitely leads me to the conclusion that there is some kind of potion of minor stat. Yep, there's definitely a crafting inventory that I can't figure out how to look at. But a potion of major stamina requires ogre blood. Huh. Some scrolls. Interesting. I wonder if some enchanting might um, come into it. We don't know any recipes to enchant with, though. Hmm? Going. Well, Going. ogre's down. Very well. Very well. He seemed. Very well. An okay chap, I suppose, but well. It is unfortunate. He did try to kill us. And I am a barbarian. So, I'm going to try and fight. Alright, let's try one more. We're going to go ahead and turn this on. Oh my god, that's a lot of guys. Ho ho ho, what did I just fucking stumble into? That was a mistake. We're gonna definitely need to fireball all up in this bitch. Like, ASAP. And, um, Pillar of Faith. 
prayer against resilience, restore minor warding seal, watchful presence. Definitely want circle of protection. And yeah, you can come in here. Oh, how did that just happen? That is bullshit. Yes. What? No. How do I get you to engage me? That is BS. Jesus. It just fucking teleported to my back line, man. That's crazy. This is nonsense. What do you do? Oof. You, you got her. Alright, well. Fortunately, my rogue having a bad fucking time of it. Try to fireball these guys again. Yes. And you really need to drop whatever your biggest cure spell is. Mm -hmm. Actually, we need to do this. Yes. Oh no. Oh man. Goodbye. Yes. Oh, well, goodbye, wizard. Jesus, this is getting this is going south really fast. Fight. Wait up for that ogre. Jesus. Well, thankfully, they were just knocked out and not hmm? killed. Although she is about to die. Very well. So we gonna have to, uh. Yes, very well. Definitely gonna have to rest. Wonder what happens if we try to sleep in here. Ah, there is something over here. Scroll of Missile Barrage, very nice, and Copper. Let me try to use my camping supplies. And rest, thus regaining health. Very good. Nothing attacked us. That's a lot nicer than the Infinity Engine games tended to be. Going. Some opal. Um, we've got another fight coming up. can do by getting frenzy going. Yes. Huh. Very well. Huh. Yes. Oh man, he's taking a lot of damage. There we go. Definitely looks like a cleric is going to be a super, super important part of the fight. Yes. Nice. Okay.
So that's a good portion of this cave explored. That might be the entirety of the cave. Yes, it is. Not a lot of crazy good loot, but some stuff for sure. Some interesting things, some scrolls and whatnot. And I think we're going to go ahead and bounce. Now, I wonder where to go next. Deerford Crossing. So we could come up here. How do we get there? Oh, wait. I wonder. Oh, I wonder. I bet you there's another way to get to there through here. Through the cave. Question is exactly how. Precisely in what way? Um. Going. Aha. There we are. That seems to lead somewhere. Potentially out. Okay, it does. Skull key. Ah, tattered note. Initiate's hood and cultist's robes. Well, that's all very interesting. Note is bloodstained and torn. Edges are smudged with kind of pigment. Scraps are legible. You can make a hastily written instructions. To avoid the entrance in the tower, traffic to my shop would attract the attention. Interesting. So. Well, that's very interesting. What is up there? We got to go check up on whatever's up there. Very. And go then on. go back to that little tower area because we found the key that allows us to enter whatever is there, which I will bet is some sort of evil cultist's lair or something. Intriguing. There was something up here. Don't know what. Oh, what are those? A forest lurker? The hell is a forest lurker? Besides bad fucking news, I'm sure. Can't. How do I get there? Ah. I see. Let's see, if we loop around... Yeah, there was a way out over here. But if we go a little farther south, we run into these horrible monsters. Oh boy. Oh, boy. oh it's bad there, friends. It's not good there, friends. Oh, no. Oh, sure. Can we get all of our range attackers to start shooting us in the face then there? Mr. Dwarfman, go ahead and turn that up. Combat sound is broken. That should be a relatively dead... Oh man, this guy is... There they go. We knock him down. Get that going just to see. Yeah, he should be taking it pretty heavy now. All right. There we go. Okay. So. Very well. There is something over here for sure. Very well. Going. On this dude. Boots with a long march. Hello. What do you do? 
Stamina bonus, athletics bonus, hello. These boots bear the rising sun of Athos, and they were the first worn by foot soldier in St. Waden's army. Daughter of poor Valoris farmer, or Vorlas farmers, she was sickly and frail all her life, yet she, such was her devotion to Athos that when the re Redsarian army marched on the Deerwood, she set off to join them against her family's warnings, traveling all the way to White March on her own. Hmm. When she finally arrived at the army's camp, it is said that St. Waden himself, sorry, Wade Wynn himself, came out to greet the young woman, blessing her for her courage and endurance. Her boots were branded with the emblem of his army, and she continued to cross the mountains with the troops. She disappeared, however, after the, de the detonation of the God Hammer. Historians and folklorists disagree on whether she died in the explosion, remained in the Deerwood, or met another fate on her way back to Red Ridseras, but her boots somehow remained behind. Aeothus faithful ought to maintain that she ascended with the god himself at the end of the war, leaving only the shoes that had served her so faithfully. Well, these are definitely going to the main character. Because they are awesome. Stamina and athletics bonus? Hell yeah. That puts my athletics up to what? Something ridiculous, right? Eight? Nice. Okay. Well, with that fully explored... Ah, that's what I gotta do. Come hither. Everybody make your way over here. We are going to investigate this thingamans again now that we have the skull key. I like this double speed, half speed thing quite a bit because it allows you to like speed through areas you've already explored or even speed up exploration a little bit without like having that be the default, you know, having it be too slow kind of a thing. All right, we're going to examine the statue, examine the skull, try the skull-handled key. The ruined statue begins to move, and there's a dark passage deep into the earth. Let's find out what's down there. And let's see. I'm sure it's something awful. Awfully amazing, brrrr. Ah, a temple to something called someone or something called Skein. Well, now, addendum added, blood legacy. If we go, Lady Ace Harund has disappeared in the quiet town of Deerford. Corpse melts. Denied he'd eaten, I don't suppose he has anything high perhaps Tear Girl does. Very well. well. It seems pretty clear that the girl is um So this is what? Stealth mode. Am I doing this right? Hold on. Inventory map scouting. Yeah, so scouting mode is also stealth mode, as near as I can understand it. So if I wanted to stealth past... So I wonder if that's the radius at which you spot things, or the radius at which they hear you. Um, well, we have evil cultists. Let's go say hello. Yes? Huh. Fuck him up! Barely injured. Would you attack? There you go, buddy. Yeah, there are uh, some weirdness with the... There's definitely some weird bugs with combat sound. Not triggering properly. Well, that doesn't look great. Come on, homie. A lot of grazing happening right now. Let's see if we can knock him down. Oh, you got interrupted. 
and they say resolve serves no purpose. A lot of grazes. There we go. That guy was tough. Jeez. Hmm. All right. Well, let's keep the train going. Going. Whoa. All right. Let's blind this guy. Let's trigger this. Clerics on. Divine Mark. What are some good lower level ones? We're still trying to, there's so many spells. We're still trying to figure out the icons, too. Going. Very well. So anything in here of note? Going. Very Doesn't well. Look like it. Hmm? Let's go kill this dude. Oh, we got something with a bow down here. I wonder if we can lure this guy up. A lot, of, a lot of guards. These guys are creepy looking too. Kind of wish I could go even closer. Barbarian. Whoa. Okay. Alright, well. Yes? Oh, this could be bad. Yeah, I think it's bad, friends. Yes? Huh. Knock him down! Wizard, you suck. Good, nice. Alright, so that works. Yes. Or no, apparently it doesn't. That's really hurting quite a lot. Ugh, couldn't hmm? have just Damn, this guy hits like a truck. Hmm? Yes. Hmm? Huh. Alright, you're next. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to clear this in one go. These guys are getting pretty messed up. My fighter's taking so much friggin' health damage. I see what they mean on the forums by like. The stamina loss not being a problem for the fighter, but everything else being a pretty huge issue. Very well. Jesus. Yes? These guys are fucking scary, man. Fucking scary. Should probably be a little more careful with the next set of combats if I want to try and clear this in one go. See if we can get through this door. Don't necessarily anticipate that being mechanics of ten. 
Jesus, the hell's your mechanics? Mechanics of seven. Well, you're fucking useless to me, aren't you? I guess we have to find a key or another way in to wherever the hell that is. Yeah. Well, there is. Ah, oh, there was a trap there. How are we supposed to find that one? DT of 9, so it's 11, what are we at? 7 plus 2, 35 uh, versus 45. So it's 10% slower recovery speed for two better damage thresholds. Might not be a bad idea actually. We'll try swapping it out, just for the time being, and see how we do. I'm trying to wait for this guy to s return back over here, and maybe just engage the fight, the archer solo. Yep. Another trap. Here comes the bad guys. Clerics on. Gonna have to rest after this. Yep. He went just straight unconscious from health damage. Clearing this guy up. Oh, why did he break away? Doesn't seem terribly fair. What is with this guy? Alright, we gotta start busting out more spells, apparently. Take much in the way of damage, huh? Come on, Chuckles. Probably be using more spells. I don't fucking know. Oh, that's a sh You are maimed. I wonder how you get rid of that, or if it's possible to. Whoa. Damn. Hmm? Well, holy crap, that was a lot. Exceptional saber, wounding damage over time, huge accuracy, damage increase, wow. Deadly against unarmored enemies. Let's try switching to the saber with the shield.
Um, I think, yes, I should do the trick. We'll see what this is like. Yes, going. Try and uh, get through one more fight, although with the fighter being injured yes, like he is. Yes, going, going. What happens if I just try to camp here? Yes. Can I camp yes, with enemies? Yes, very well. Yeah. Alright, so what we're going to do is, even just for immersive effect, actually no, we're going to come over here to this other this somewhat quiet room, and we're going to see what happens if we try to camp. Camping spice. Ah, and resting gets rid of the maim. All right, that's actually pretty, honestly, pretty lightweight. The re so the real question is going to be: Is there any way to bring back the dead like there is in Baldur's Gate? Like, I got no problem with the um, maiming injury kit system. Like, uh, Dragon Age Origins did something like this. Obviously. Fuck him up. Hmm? Woof. Hey now. Fuck you. Tough. Missing string near death. Yes. Wow. These guys have some some gear Going. on them, huh? Yes. Going. Going. Well, well now. Let's get a little save Arino. We got this guy with his longbow Very well. here. Ha! Let's get in there and fuck him up. I don't think we're gonna need. Oh, this is gonna be a nasty fight. Jesus. Yes? Guy's badly injured. Near death. There you go. Going. Damn. Exceptional war bow. Oh, hello. All right. Exceptional war bow. It's gonna replace that. Exceptional great sword. Oh, there we go. That's that's more like it, mommy likey. Let's get that going. Swap back now, you buddy. Fine battle axe, crit damage multiplier four four. Let's give you the saber. And uh, check your character sheet. Actually, did you take? No. Hmm. Going. What the hell is a blaskin? Huh. No one has a sense of heightened alertness. Okay. Um. But yeah. So she should be dealing. Pretty solid amount of time, right? Yeah, 23 to 36. Thick skin, 50% health loss, hmm? that's right. Hey, you. <gasps> Guess what? Fighter really does. Uh, exceptional saber deals missing zero damage. 
interesting. Yes. Go. Very well. Okay. Starting to run low on stuff. Fine hunting bow, 96 pierce. Go ahead and do that. 